Whether you're looking to set something up for your small business, whether it's outdoor on a patio area, or an outside pool area, or somewhere where you are generally outside. Well, this product right here is from a company called HPE Instant On, and this is the AP27. Hey everyone, my name is Monty, and welcome to Inside Wire. So right here in front of me, I have a 24 port switch, and a wireless outdoor access point, and we're gonna put it all together and see how well it works. Now, this is great to use in a small to medium business environment as it services up to 75 clients, outdoor because it's IP67 rated, and it's Wi-Fi 6. Let's take a quick look at what comes inside the box. So we have the switch itself with a power cable, and if we take a quick look at this, this is not really the star of the show, but we can take a look at this, and we have 24 ports, gigabit ports, PoE ports on the front, and we have 10 gig SFP plus uplink ports. This is for the switch. So this is the 1930 model. For the access point itself, we get a startup guide, we get safety compliance and warranty information, and installation configuration and safety guide. We have a bracket right here, which is made of full aluminium. So that's not going anywhere, that's very sturdy. We have a waterproof grommet that we can put your ethernet cable through. We have a screw to tighten this up, which we'll have a look at shortly. And we have a piece of earthing tool as well. So if you have this higher up and it's prone to a lightning strike, you can earth it using this tool and get something connected just at the bottom right here. So this is the earthing slot. We have the ethernet slot just here, which it says E0, which is PoE, which needs to be PoE to be powered. And that goes in right here. So we can use the grommet here, which will weatherproof your cable and get that plugged in like so. I'll quickly demonstrate on here how you install the bracket. So you go ahead and slide the bracket in like so, and you can use these screws to tighten this up right here. Once you've done that, you plug in your ethernet cable and you're good to go. Getting it set up is really easy and simple. I've plugged a power cable into the switch itself. So this is powered on. You can see by the lights on the front, we have an ethernet cable, which has come from our gateway or router or your existing network, depending on how you're getting it set up. And then we just need one more ethernet cable, which I have right here, which is gonna go from here into the instant on access point. And you can see there's a red light on the side just there, which has started flashing, which means that this is now booting up. Once you've got all this set up, we can go ahead and go over to the computer, or you can use your mobile device to get it configured and set up how you need. To get set up in the portal, all you need to do is go to portal.instantaruba.com, and then you can sign in and create a site. So I've called this one Inside Wire, as you can see up here, and we're gonna go ahead and add a device. Once you add a device, you need to type in the serial number, which I have put in just here, and then we click next, and we allow it to go across the network and find them. You can see it's already found the switch and the access point, so we're gonna go ahead and click add device. It's really that simple. You'll see the two devices are there synchronizing at the moment, so it's sending the data back and forth, whatever it needs to. And in this video, we're just gonna go ahead, set up a couple of networks, take this outside, and do some speed tests. So while that is synchronizing at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and go to networks and I've actually already created a couple of test networks already. So, so to create the new network, we go ahead and press create network at the top and we're gonna give it a name. I'm gonna call this HPE Networking Instant On Demo. Yes, it's a bit of a mouthful, but it's good for this test at the moment. So we click next. We can choose either employee or guest. So there are some guest portal settings as well. Just breaking at this point, if you wanna see a tutorial guide on the Instant On portal, drop me a comment down below and I will be able to put something like that together for you. We can go ahead and choose the security type. So WPA2, WPA3 is perfect for what we need as that will allow both of our devices to connect. And if you want the hidden network, we can then go ahead and give it a password and click next. We're gonna make it as the same local network for now because that's what we have set up and the way I've set up my network at this point to get the best possible speeds out of it. Generally, you would separate your networks out onto different VLANs and different networks. So we'll go ahead, create that network. And you can see, there you go, that started making it and it's showing you all the details that are set up. If you wanted to mess around with a guest portal, that this is right here. And just to show you, just for completeness, I'll go ahead and show you the guest one we click wireless, click next, and instead of employee, you, you click guest network. We can go ahead and type in a password. And again, you can choose WPA2, WPA3, and right down here, we click guest portal. And that will then set this up as a guest network. So we click next, 
you can specify a network that you want to connect to with this so we can create the network at the same time and that goes off and gets this all set up for you and there we go right there and just bringing you back around to the home page again you can see we have 100 percent health we have no clients connected at this point we have three networks one wired network and two wireless networks and then we have two devices set up in our network and the amount of applications that has gone out as well Again, there's a lot more you can do within this portal around the policies, etc. So if you want to see it, you know what you need to do. So for now, we're going to go here and I'm going to bring across my system settings for now. And I'm going to show you there's the instant on networking demo and I'm already connected to it. So what I'm going to do right here is we're going to we're going to load up the speed test. Just keep in mind, I am in the same room as the Wi-Fi access point, but there's been no tweaks or any configurations on this. So we go ahead and press go and we'll let that run. And this is the kind of speed we're getting from the Wi-Fi access point in the same room. 485 megabits per second download and 445 megabits per second upload. So let's go ahead and take this outside and do some similar sort of tests from close up and further away and see the sort of results we're getting. So we're starting with the back plate here and we've got that screwed on and we can just go ahead and pop the access point in. And you'll see now around here is where we need to pop in a couple of screws on either side. So do make sure you have access so we can get that screwed in. And there we go, you can see the screw just on the side there, which is plugged in, which has kept this access point nice and secure. Now, the next thing we need to do is go ahead and plug the ethernet cable in and make sure that's waterproof. This isn't sat on a metal pole or anything, so I'm not gonna go ahead and earth this at this point. But if you were, this is the point where you would put this in. So just showing you this, we have the weatherproofing on here and we have the grommet inside as well. To get this installed, we can go ahead and plug the ethernet cable in and we can hear that click and then we can screw this top part in. So we'll just do that now. And then we have the weatherproof grommet at the bottom, which we can go ahead and screw in. And then you can make that as tight as you need to. So it's nicely connected and watertight. So let's go ahead and do our first test. So we're probably about a meter to two meters away from the access point. It's literally just behind the camera. So we're gonna go ahead and press go on the speed test just here. And you can see being right next to it was a similar sort of result that we were seeing in the same room as we would expect being right next to it. So 480, 490 megabits per second, maybe even pushing 500 in terms of download speed. And then the upload speed is around 97 megabits per second. Now we're standing approximately about 10 to 15 meters away from the access point. So this is one far corner of the area and we're gonna go ahead and click go and let's see what sort of speed we're getting here. So still a really good speed. You can see in the top right hand corner of the phone that I have still full signal standing where I am. I have no doubt if you have a bigger area that you're looking to cover, your Wi-Fi signal is not gonna be an issue. So 476 down and 98.2 up. And just for completeness, we can go ahead and press go. And with that on the other side, we're getting 452 down and 101 up. From what you've seen, this access point is perfect for outdoor usage and you get a reasonable throughput up to 15 to 20 meters away. I couldn't test any further because of the area that I was in, but no doubt you'll definitely be able to go a lot further. So a couple of other tech specs for you. As you saw, you can set up WPA2, WPA3 on it, but also keep in mind, you can actually set this up via mesh. So if you have another access point inside your house and you don't have the cable connecting to outside, you can actually mesh this access point so you can get it connected via a PoE adapter and you're ready to go. It has two by two MIMO and it has a max throughput data rate 1774 megabits per second. I hope you found this video useful. Let me know your thoughts on the HP access point. Is this something you would deploy in your business or your area that you're looking to cover? For now, this is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.